brave women's rights activist Kelly J. Keane was driven away from her own rally in New Zealand this weekend in shocking scenes of woke tyranny being doused in soup by a baying leftist mob before panicked police were forced to evacuate her for her own safety. <laughs> Now, the militant trans community's latest violent outburst attracted the attention of author J.K. Rowling, who compared the silencing of Kelly J. Keane to a similar event being targeted in London at the same time, writing after the repellent scenes from New Zealand in which a mob assaulted women speaking up for their rights, the lesbian project has been intimidated and threatened in the UK right now. Now, Keane, who will be here with me tomorrow night, said she was fleeing the worst place for women she had ever visited in the wake of the violence, in which she said she genuinely feared for her lives. Those disgraceful scenes in Auckland were just the latest recent example of a global movement that seems determined to use violence against women to shut down brave female rights voices like Keane and Rowling. So as Kelly J. Keane is driven out of New Zealand by violent trans rights extremists, are biological women... Now, under attack, Carol, from the trans lobby. Without question, you know, absolutely. You know, that you mentioned that that protest today. That that was the trans lobby protesting against lesbians and saying they were they were having a, a, a meeting and they were saying that they were shut because there was no men present. I mean, how dare they? What's it got to do with them? Why is it? Why is it trans activists, most of whom are men wanting to be women? Why do they hate women so much? Why do they target women all the time? They want to be women and yet they appear to hate them. You know, what has happened? We've seen what's happened to J.K. Rowling. She's been threatened with mm. death. She's been threatened with rape. We've seen what's happened to Sharon Davis when she was fighting mm. against the ban in sport. She was threatened. They tried to destroy her career. They, she, she actually said, she said, no, they tried to take your brand, your career, your job. They threatened her children. How in God's name? You know, I was trying to think today, in preparation for coming out, I was trying to think, why are they so aggressive? And why are they so vile? these activists. And, and I think it's because their ideology is so fragile. It doesn't actually stack up. You can't be a bloke and just declare yourself a woman and expect everything to be OK. That it doesn't... So maybe they have to be aggressive to push it through. But when are we going to start tackling this? Because these these are criminals. That I hope to God that woman who threw the soup of the tomatoes or whatever it was in New Zealand, let's hope she's been arrested well, and charged, but we can't guarantee it. Ab absolutely not. I mean, Emma Webb, this is a story, obviously, that's very close to my heart because I'm a dual citizen, as people know, of the UK and New Zealand, uh, which is my home country. And earlier on today, I was talking about a wave of woke tyranny that has spread through New Zealand. I actually put this down to Jacinda Ardern. It happened to me when I spoke out against her inhumane lockdown policies. I've seen the same thing happen to Kelly J. Keane. She has been described everywhere as a transphobe, but this is in the mainstream New Zealand media. Yeah. She's been described as a neo-Nazi. This is ludicrous. I mean, Kelly J. Keene is a regular on the show. She'll be here tomorrow night. She is none of those things. Yes, she has controversial views, and yes, she does not believe that you can biologically transition your sex. But mm -hmm. that doesn't make you a transphobe, does it? No, not at all. I mean, I think that Kelly J. Keane is a hero, frankly. I think she has so much courage. She's so brave. The fact that she puts herself into these situations where she knows that she's going to be at risk. Because we've seen for a very long time that, you know, there's this sort of um, bubbling violence with a lot of these protesters, people holding pa placards that say things like decapitate turfs. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't get away with that, that kind here. of straightforward incitement to violence. You you wouldn't you wouldn't yeah. have that tolerated for any other yeah. group of protesters. And, 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 it's borderline terroristic. And I think what we're seeing here is that that, that bubbling 
bubbling has tipped over into mm. violence and Kelly J. Keane goes into these situations knowing that she's going to show these protesters for what they are and that is women-hating misogynists mm. who want to use violence to silence women from standing up for their rights. She is so brave and I think that the country should applaud her. But what's so shocking to me, Benjamin, is the alternate reality that now exists with these sorts of stories. So just like everywhere in the media, Jacinda Ardern was painted as a hero of the New Zealand people and she had the people behind her, which she actually didn't, hence why she's left office. Same with Sturgeon in Scotland. What we've seen here is a presentation in the media of these so-called protests being peaceful. Just like the BLM protests that took place in the US in 2020, we can see with our own eyes there was nothing peaceful about that. It was violent, it was thuggery, and I think the media should be calling those activists out, not Kelly J. Keane. I mean, first of all, you list two female political leaders who both won landslide elections and support trans rights. And so it's strange that you don't respect their views as women, OK? You can't pick and choose. Now, someone who's throwing tomato soup or, or anything more violent is clearly being a total idiot and the law should deal with them because well, that's not a way to behave. Benjamin. Is this violence, Benjamin? Well, I mean, of course, if, if you're physically manhandling someone, if you're throwing they something are. at them, that is violence. There was of course an old it woman is. who got punched in the uh, face mm. twice. But do you know what? The idea that you talk of a so-called trans lobby, well, no one has ever run a FTSE 100 company who's trans. There's no trans person who's edited a national newspaper or had a national newspaper column. There's someone who came out as trans, but no trans person has ever been elected to Parliament. Where is this trans lobby you talk of? The truth is that you have people like that that have sincerely held views, but also take you joy in stirring hate. You, 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 you don't do that. You genuinely don't believe there's a trans don't lobby? You? There are far more people. You can't name a single person in the most influential jobs in our society, in the most powerful that roles. That's a strange there has that's never, lobby. never <laughs> ever <laughs> been a transgender that, person in one of those roles. So what, how are they controlling the trans everybody? Lobby nearly it's a farce. destroyed Sharon Davis in this country. They well, nearly destroyed her. No, it didn't. Her. Yes, they did. I'd never heard of her until she started having well, views on trans you're, stuff. Well, that's you're not interested in anything else that you're not interested in. Sharon Davis, we're Olympic Huge swimmer. Star. They nearly destroyed. She's on she, powerful she actually groups. said that she, she had been employed for 30 years by various companies mm. who dropped her because of this lobby, because this lobby was lobbying them not to employ her. You know, you can't terrorise yeah. women into yeah. silence. And, and that's exactly what the trans lobby The trans lobby, the trans lobby uh, features a lot of men. Right. Well, it is. Well, the videos, the video, who want to because women. You're, you're suggesting that the trans lobby only includes trans people, and that is not the point. The no, I'm not. It includes a great been, many women. Has been thrown in to this huge LGBTQIA plus grouping, which folk like me do not identify with. We don't view ourselves as. Well, don't worry. I think plenty of gay people don't identify you with with it either. Look, you why know, there are is. Women, can I ask you a question? Why what a are horrible women thing to not say. allowed? Why are women not allowed to criticise transgender ideology? Why are we not? Because you, you, you can criticise or compliment whatever we're you not. like, OK? Well, you do, but what you I'm saying... No, you're, well, no, what you're, I'm you're saying, immediately called a transphobe. You're yes, immediately yes. tried to be cancelled. Just to be clear... Right. Tried to lose your yeah. employment. Just to be clear, if you try to deny the existence of trans people, as, not. as this Kelly no, J. No Keane is. does, no. then that no. is transphobic, no, OK? It's, just if women stand up for their rights, they're called transphobes. If lesbians stand up for same-sex attractive rights, they're each other, but but the point is, Kelly J. Keane does not believe that you can biologically transition and that is from transphobic. a man to a woman. No, it is. You say that's it transphobic. Is. I would actually say she's stating that. I think it's hate mongering. And you, you know what? I, I just think the level of hypocrisy to sit here picking up activists who care about transgender rights and saying they're attacking women when a man called Calvin Robinson sits in this seat on Tuesdays and says that women's rights have gone too far or when Andrew Tate sits on this channel who is currently being investigated in Romania and has said on but record that you should be able to strangle is, women. Well, that, that's Why don't you, you call no, 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 that's that you. out? And that's a, that's a great point because it's very typical of the left and I'm glad that you've made it. It's you hypocrisy want to on the right. People who do not 
believe what you believe. I'm not trying to cancel the trans rights lobby. What I'm saying is that it is utterly despicable that they are given a free pass to physically attack biological women and try and cancel you biological know, women. I am not cancelling them. I am giving a platform to everyone. And for you to equate... Uh, Calvin Robinson and Andrew Tate with the trans rights lobby is frankly bizarre. You know well, the I'll whole reason that GB News was set up was to provide a platform to all perspectives in the UK and around the world. Yeah, well, and I do that proudly, actually. I tell you I what, do that proudly. When you attack Andrew Tate in the way that you attack transgender people standing up for the basic rights, then I'll we, believe that it's a fair call. Andrew said, Tate, who has been found guilty panel, of no crime, but he's admitted, all, he, said, said. he said on record, forgive me, he said on record many times long before any criminal question well, that he believes that you can the, hit your the, wife. The, we have the, the always fact, said on this panel... How is that not attacking and women? Certainly, certainly Belinda, myself, we've always said trans people can live the, their best life they possibly can. I don't care. Afraid they can't. But they will not force me or terrorise me into believing their ideology, and that's yeah. what they're trying to do. Indeed. That's what's wrong.